Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts on News Radio 570 WSYR and 1069 FM. You have found it, ladies and gentlemen. It's The Local Show. I know your friends have been telling you all about it, so uh, now you've actually stumbled upon it, and we're happy that you're here. Did you, does your wife like to listen? Does She's like, Tom, Tom, you're on. I want to hear it. Does she like to hear you talk? My wife doesn't like to hear me talk, period. I just was curious. That's, uh, you know, close to 30 years of marriage, yeah. and uh, yeah, no. Sometimes Judy's <laughs> like, do we really have to listen to that? I'm like, it's me, yeah. dear. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I listen just to make sure there's no flub ups and and everything well, is running properly. Yeah, and I so, listen to hear because yeah. I want to hear the flow and that's yeah, the, the right. Same things, well, you but. you hear it because you want to judge so that you can say, well, you did this wrong and that wrong. Well, and uh, that's let's true, change it. I know what you're doing, yeah, Tom. You don't know, think I don't Tom, know. come on, you know I love you, sort of a little. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we're, we're just fooling around, folks. But uh, here's a person who doesn't fool around. She's a real doctor. Yeah, a doctor of audiology, Dr. Nicole Anzalone, live in person and uh, ready to rock and roll. How are you? I'm doing well, Tom. How are you? <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, you know, I didn't realize I haven't seen you in person in a while because a lot of times we'll do the virtual thing and recording and all that junk. And uh, you're really attractive for, you know, a doctor <laughs> here of audiology. You know, she's a good looking woman. Yeah. Well, thank I'm you. Su- thank I'm surprised, you, Tom. surprised you lower your standards enough to come in with us. <laughs> That's something else. <laughs> she got voted most likely to be an ear doctor. <laughs> in junior high school, and it panned out. Uh, but I, I think that uh, what really shines through is her brilliance. And uh, for those people who don't know, why don't you give a little background of your education and how you came to own Syracuse Hearing? Sure. So um, I went to Syracuse University for my bachelor's degree. I stayed for my master's degree in neuroscience. And then um, I stuck around for my doctorate degree in audiology after I started uh, working with cochlear implant patients as part of my research program. And um, after that, uh, the opportunity of owning a practice basically fell into my lap. And I, I thought I would be working in a hospital setting because I love all the, the diagnostics, the energy, the flow. I, I, I like high paced. And I didn't realize that owning a practice is even more high paced yeah. than, yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise. than working in a hospital setting. So um, I love it. It's, it's great. It, it's a great combination of, you know, working with patients and counseling, the medical side of it. Um, you, you get to learn more about the community as being part of a business, you know. So, and, you know, business, keeping in touch with the community is very important. Yeah. Uh, was it a little bit of a culture shock coming from downstate to upstate? Uh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where, where were you from in New York? Um, I was born and raised in the Bronx. Oh, yeah. And uh, talk about high pace there. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah, so that's that's what's different here. But it's nice because there's a lot less traffic here. Yeah. Um, everything's a little bit slower. Um great place to raise kids exactly exactly you can own property and and have a yard tell us about the kids (laughs) tell us about the kids (laughs) the kiddos yeah yeah school age uh, yeah so they're school age um you know one in high school one in uh fifth grade just entering middle school and um yeah they're they're into music like mom i wish they played drums like mom (laughs) um but they're into uh oboe and i guess have, uh, Megan's into trombone now. Wow! So, uh, well, well, Dr. Nicole, Tom, I don't know if you know, she has a, drummer, a, dr- a full yeah. drum kit. Well, yes, I know in her that. basement. Actually, she was uh, she had to move to another neighborhood <laughs> <laughs> because they're like the crazy drum and doctor. Isn't that what they called you? The drum and doctor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ear drummer. I don't know. The, the ear <laughs> drummer. Yeah, I like that. That might stick. I like that. Gee. The ear but I protect my hearing. <clears throat> it's always important. Do what you love, but protect your hearing. Yeah. We talked about that, you know, doing yard work. And uh, some people use the over the over the ear type things, the big orange ones. Yeah. Um, and then um, other people will use the ones that you plug into your ears. What, what, do you sell those? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and you, custom ones, You custom too. make them. Yeah. yeah. Explain that a little bit about what they do. They attenuate certain frequencies? Yeah. Or? So what's nice about the custom uh, hearing protection, they're they're basically molded to your ears. So they make a really good seal. Some are filtered for certain purposes. So they attenuate. It, it, it's nice because it's a flat noise attenuation. Yeah. Um, so um, you could hear speech 
well mm-hmm. or still, but it really takes the edge off the, the louder sounds. And I use them for drumming too. So we have a lot of concerts that are coming around. You know, of course, yeah, Elton yeah. John was just, just here yeah. and, and, and a lot of things happen at the amphitheater. So uh, if people were to wear these things to a concert, can you still enjoy the concert? Oh, the absolutely. The musicality? Yeah, I would say, you know, I wear them to concerts too because um, the Elton John concert, actually one of my audiologists went to that and they said they t- they measured the the sound levels. Yeah, the decibels. And uh, it was over you know 110 decibels. Oh yeah. So that could be potentially damaging. So, Golly. actually, with the earplugs, it it makes it a lot more enjoyable. I would say it really uh, mm-hmm. reduces some mm-hmm. of the distortion from all the loud no, sounds. I, I use earplugs, and some yes. folks know. Years ago, I had a traumatic brain injury, and sound was just awful to me it just hurt so even in going to church i would wear earplugs mm-hmm. yeah. and and it really and you can still hear your point is valid you can still hear fine it's just it's just not painful yeah exactly. and it takes it down 20 percent, or whatever it is i don't know exactly how it works but it and, and it worked you know what tom does so his ears don't hurt he lets the earwax build up <laughs> so that way all the sound doesn't come in uh, actually so, uh, i have a custom pair of um uh, plugs that uh dr anzalone made for me so when you talk they filter out <laughs> They filter out everything from 20 to 20. Yeah, the, the whole frequency range. They're specific Steve plugs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, everybody has their plugs. So let's talk earwax. I was talking to a friend earlier this week, and he went to a doctor. Yes. And they said, uh, we're going to check. And went to a doctor. I don't know what kind of doctor. I, he was like a nose doctor. Dr. Shivago. And he, yes. said, he said, oh, yeah, there's earwax. And he, like, tried to do it. But my friend said, obviously, it wasn't his thing. Yeah, uh, you know, because he doesn't do it. So how do how do people how do you help people get wax out of the ears if that indeed is an issue? Yeah, so we have very safe ways, mostly three ways of, of cleaning out earwax. Um, ears are our domain. I clean out earwax all day, every day, and I love it. I, it's actually one of my favorite things to do. Is a shop vac one of the ways? <laughs> yeah, probably not. We have a mini <laughs> ear vacuum. Do you actually. really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it, it is. It's called micro suction. So uh, the the pressure of it's controlled. So it's it's comfortable and safe. And uh, we also do um, uh, water irrigation. And we have a specific machine to do that as well that controls the temperature and the pressure of the water to make it safe and comfortable. Doesn't make you dizzy at all. And uh, if the temperature was off, it could. Um, But um, yeah, we also do manual removal, uh, you know, scooping out the wax. And um, it, it can make a difference if the wax is really impacted it can definitely change your hearing. Yeah. So who should come to Syracuse Hearing Solutions? If you had to, you know, talk to somebody in an elevator (laughs) and you said, hey, here's why you should come. Well, yeah, (laughs) what kind of patients do you see? Well, if that patient or if that person said what in the elevator, I would know right away. Um, So if someone's saying what or asking people to repeat themselves frequently, uh, that's a definite sign of hearing loss. If someone has ringing in the ears, that's a sign. If someone needs uh, hearing protection, that would be a good uh, a good time to come, or even in ear cleaning. So we do uh, anything ear related, hearing related. Uh, we're gonna start to do more balance related stuff too mm-hmm. as soon as I could uh, open a second office. And um, yeah, because right. your ears control balance uh, too. Just really quickly, age group of people you see? Any age. Any age, great. Any age, yeah. Okay. Good to know. Well, that's Dr. Nicole Anzalone. You do a wonderful job. Uh, you got a big staff over there and uh, you're looking at a second location, all that. Owner of Syracuse Hearing Solutions, SyracuseHearingSolutions.com, SyracuseHearingSolutions.com. Uh, check out the website, lots of information there. You have a great rest of the day. Thank you, you too, Tom and Steve. Thank you for coming. Uh, Kevin Frank coming up next, director of the Brady Market and the Brady Faith Center, right here on The Local Show on 570 WSYR.